back. Drew Felios is going to take over the play-by-play -play duties with Morgan Evans. So we're going to see Team BLQK versus Team Rally here. Jesse Irvin, Dylan Frazier, Susanna Barr, and JW Johnson. They are still looking for that first W here. Desperately wanted, and it would be an upset to take out BLQK. Here's the current standings. The Chimeras are the only undefeated team. Team BLQK has secured that second spot, and with that dramatic loss there, the Discovery Warriors are now one match win behind BLQK for one of those two spots in the championship. All right, Drew Felios, take it away. All right, Dave, thank you so much as we are buzzing here on Stadium Court. Yep, our standings is Team BLQK, four wins, one loss, and trying to improve on that here against Team Rally. And again, the atmosphere here is just incredible after what we just experienced. Andrea Coop for Team BLQK, 33 years old out of Grand Haven, Michigan, an attorney by day, former tennis star at UCLA. She is, of course, one of the founders of the Beer City Open, very successful event. Arena Tarashenko, her teammate, 38 years old, native of Tucson, Arizona, originally from Moscow, Russia, former tennis star at Texas Tech. She shines in singles and doubles as well. Susanna Barr on the other side for Team Rally. One of the older competitors at age 43, native of Boise, Idaho. Sponsored by Selkirk, spent five years in the military. It's really helped her grow in this great game. And there's Jesse Irvin, 32 years old. First round draft pick, fifth overall out of Pasadena, originally from North Carolina. Played her tennis at UCLA. And she is part of Engage Pickleball's movement. Seconds. We are just about set to go. Women's doubles to start it off. As day three of Major League Pickleball continues. Andrea Coop, big smile. And this event just continues to wow the crowds here at Dreamland. You could sense from that last match that we just witnessed, the crowds here that are coming in really have absorbed the concept of Major League Pickleball. Took maybe a full day for that to happen, but now, Morgan Evans, you can really see everybody fully understands what is at stake with each point. 100%. They, the crowds here have been swelling. The amount of crowd participation uh, has really risen throughout the event, and it really is uh, an inspiring time to be in the game of Pickleball. We're going to see just how the sport changes after this event. Underway here, women's doubles. And Tereschenko into the net for the first point. Susanna Barr has gone with a paddle switch. The same model, just uh, different colors. This could be the lucky one. The, the lob festival continues. Yours. 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 Got it. Got it. mentioned the Lob Festival continuing. Any reason you think we've seen a lot more of it here over the last few days? Yeah, I think when you're playing indoors, 
without the elements so much interfering with the play, people have a, a better sense of security that they can control the, the pace and depth Ooh, of that lob. But it looks like we've got a, we've got a challenge early. I don't think we've had one challenge so far. And we have a B in the commentary booth. <laughs> we will uh, possibly borrow someone's paddle to take care of that. Unwelcome visitor. That's our first challenge of the day. You look at Ben Johns over there on the sideline, ready to go. Alongside Rob Nunnery, let us off on day one, a thrilling victory, Team BLQK. That's a good play also. And let's see the yeah. challenge is, yeah. ooh. Yeah, but I like this pace. Okay, so yeah, her, her foot did appear to be on the line as she pushed yeah. off, and it wasn't established. Let's have another look here. So not this one, she's safe there. Okay, so yeah, she did appear to so step it, right? on yeah. the line and didn't, didn't reestablish that play. right foot before like, uh, the contact or the overhead was made. Unfortunately, that does like make it a foot fault. Her right foot touches um, the line just oh, barely. Not much in it. I mean, Quarter right. of an inch. And obviously, from this angle, we can't see exactly, but. Uh, who, who is this? Oh, hi, Jim. We'll we'll find out shortly yes. what the referees think. Take one more look. I thought you took two steps out, though. I thought you had both feet out before you. So it's all fine here. No problems there. It's just whether or not that foot is on the line. Nope, sorry. Yeah. Hopefully we'll find the log. It's on the push off. It's on the push off. Well, you could almost call it on that. That's uh, for those in the truck. That's mm -hmm. not uh, the shot we're looking for. We're looking for the overhead. The next shot, or two shots later. Match just underway. And waiting on instant replay here. All right, looks like we'll go back to this angle. And it's the right foot push off before. Hopefully, it looks like uh, referee Ron Ponder has seen enough to, to make the call. And it is not going in the favor of team Call is upheld. BLQK. Am I the Call is upheld. It is a right foot push off. Am I correct side and everything? Yes. Okay. So it'll be Barr and Irvin who maintain the serve. 2 0 2. Time is in. 2 0 2. Yours. Nice drive, Justin. And into the Point. net for Andrea Coop. Great shot. Yeah. 302. Mine. Okay. Side out. That's yeah, it. Here we go. Over here. Come on. Yeah. 031. Mine. Yours. Yours. Another good looking lob there. I got it, okay. Yours. Yours. That's it, ladies. And Point. Coop nice. getting to the outside of Irvin. What do you want? Okay. 1 3 1. So we've got Coop serving to Bar. Done by Ray 
Tarashenko. Yeah, Tarashenko did very well there to absorb some of the pace from the bar yeah. forehand. Two, three, one. And find the opening. Here. Nice. Oh, he's getting fast and furious early. Like three, the gear. Three, one. Team BLQK. <laughs> You'll be pleased to hear that uh, my co-host, Drew Thelius, has conquered Nine. against the B. <laughs> and the B won the first two rounds. Uh, however, we came back in the third and squashed it. It terrorized us for about 10 minutes. It was rough, and uh, we Yours. deeply apologize to all those listening. Did come at the expense of a bag of Doritos. Got Indeed, it. but, uh, it's important to note it was an African killer bee, so. We saved lives. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing that we are close to Bee Cave, Texas, and that's exactly where it came from. <laughs> we will try to uh, get it together in the booth here. Well played by Coop. Amazing rally, all four players strutting their stuff. And this is some of the best I've seen from Irvin and Bard. They did suffer a, uh, a tough loss earlier on today. But this looks markedly better. Great control. Tereshenko does a, 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 a fantastic job of being able to apply good amounts of slice off pretty low dinks does cause Six, three, a, a timing challenge for anyone trying to lift it up over the net. They have Yours. to aim higher great above return, the net to counter for that spin. Second serve coming up here. Maria Tereshenko, Six, Jesse three, Urban. Two. Those two have made a formidable pair in the past, but today staring at each other on opposite ends. Able to get back quickly for Stop. the overhead on that occasion. Certainly no foot fault. Easily Seven, three, to say that she recouped. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll give you that one. That's Yours. fair. Play on. Yours. Let it go. Out. Mm. She did. Good run, out. Good run, lady. On that occasion, on. Susanna was certainly happy for that ball to pass the three, bar. Seven, one. Oh, you didn't like that one? Got it. Fine. Mm. Oh, no, no. She's Got, Got it. Yeah. A little short that time Boy. for Coop. As Urban was able to tire up that time. Good point. Yeah, a lot of attacks going to the Four outside of cross court player. Yours. Left her alone. Course. Still bar able to hold her own. Oh. Yeah. Incredible stuff there. The defense of Jesse Irvin and Susanna Barr in transition. And eventually, though, it was the power of this big two-handed backhand Great point. from Andrea yeah, Coop. 472. Second serve here. Got it. Four seven two. Come on. Team BLQK leading. Ah. Ah. I got 
nice. Line. Come on. Here we go, ladies. Right yeah, here. That kind of uh, right chopping, slicing motion from Irina Tereshenko on the backhand side. Most players, when they are electing to redirect and, and dink down the line, they won't be looking to apply too much spin. The risk of overpowering it is huge. And they reserve that for the cross court. But Irina, such such good control over that shot. <laughs> Nicely done again by Irvin. Yeah, even from the transitional area, that land of opportunity, as we like to call it, mm -hmm. she's able to apply so much pace on the backhand side. Seven, four, two. Yours. Jesse. Fantastic piece off the single hander as well, not just a two handed specialist. Alright, let's get a point. Able yeah. to flick a wrist and get that ball down in a hurry. So we've got the ball back four seven. Got it. Oh, come on. Up against the net. Second serve here. Four seven two. Yours. Got it. Good. Seen a lot of really cool moments in Major League Pickleball over the last few days. Morgan, what's your favorite so far? Uh, I think Seven, four, one. I'm, I'm on the side of uh, almost everybody watching Lee Whitwell perform <laughs> so brilliantly in the singles and the doubles. Yours. Yeah, nice job, Jesse. Not coming back Seven, that time from Coop. Yeah, when she went head-to-head -head with Deco Barr on day one. She did the same thing today. And I'm wow. sad, I'm sad you weren't uh, here to watch it, but this time it was uh, poor Jay nice. de Villiers yeah. that <laughs> suffered Great the shot. wrath yeah. of that left-handed slap into the corners. Three-point deficit here for Irvin and Barr to try and make up. Got it. Watch it. Yours. Excellent play there from Tereshenko. Able to get both hands, plenty of power on that two-handed backhand. An unlikely attack came towards her, but she was ready, locked and loaded. Four, seven, two. Yours. Nice angle, poop. Getting the better of Barr on that one. Side out back to Coop and Tereshenko. Seven, four, one. Men's doubles coming up next. Race to 15 <laughs> here. You. Mm. So they get the switch, team BLQK. They will head to the bench to uh, perhaps have a chat with the teammates. Let's listen in, see what they've got. But I kind of feel comfortable going with Andrea. And Andrea's going with Jesse more than Irene is. Andrea's never going to hurt you. I think that the deal is that Irene has been the one talking. Yeah. But if you're not comfortable, just keep it to the middle. Okay. Yeah, do you think you can make them fight? Okay. Yeah, do you think you can make them fight? Okay. Well, it's been really cool listening in and getting the strategies over the last few days. Hearing a lot of things that probably would not normally hear on yeah. the sidelines. The audience at home for the first time ever gets to be a fly on the wall. All right, let's go, Jesse. Or a B, as it uh, 
case may be. Rita Tarasenko now will serve her and Andrea Coop up 8 4 here, women's doubles. This is match four here of the day. Okay, Stadium in. court. 8 4 1. 8 4 1 now. Yours. Mine. Mine. Two-handed backhand overhead from Jesse Irvin. You did not see that. Doors. Uh, yeah, I got it. point we've seen so far and into the net Point. from bar <laughs> that one's on you there Drew. so Coop and Tereshenko 9-4 extending their lead and the sky cam uh, Coop just waiting for that to Move slightly. Nice return. There you go. Yeah, it looked like that one didn't quite catch the right part of the paddle of Tarashenko. Four nine one. <laughs> Got it. Watch it. Oh, <laughs> nicely done, Andrea Goop. Beautiful lean in. So many players will try and take off one of the hands and give themselves some extra reach. She knew she had the uh, the skill to pull it off. Yours. And that's long from Irvin. Good leave. Side out. Side out. Now we'll go back to Coop and Tereshenko. Chance to go into double digits here. Yes, ma'am. Nine four one. Uh. Such a good rhythm there. Excited about the prospect of getting a, a two-hander put away. Of course, Morgan, the biggest challenge with those hand battles, staying under control at the same time. Yeah, being able to really get a good, uh, get the exact right kind of pace and height above the net. That is a skill in its own. Yours. Yours. A great communication. Nope, yep. Tereshenko and Coop. Mine. I think that's five. Watch it. Uh, <laughs> too good. Yep. It's uh, those at home who are quite sure. It is Susanna Bar you're hearing yep. with the mines and the yours. So anyone who is uh, watching that will be playing against her, you now have a good idea what she's comfortable taking. Yours. Yeah, oh. nice shot. That's how to get the ball down in a hurry. So strong with that left hand, able to really close the paddle face. Four, 11, one. They have some work to do though. Hi. 
Mine. Go! Oh. Mine. Mine. Watch it. Ah. <laughs> Watch it. There you go. There it is. They defended so well, finally giving up a high enough ball for Coop to use an angle, finish the point. Second serve here, and still a seven point hill to climb for Urban and Ball. That's not coming back. Yeah, that initial drive from Irvin didn't have quite enough steam on, on it to uh, to give them an easier fifth ball to work with. 11 4 1. Extend the knee, extend the lead to eight. Now just three points away from taking 12, 4, the first game in Team Rally versus Team BLQK. Yours. Men's doubles coming up next. Yeah, nice shot. Tereshenko a little jammed yeah, up that doubles. time. Yeah, that was a rifle from Jesse Irvin. 12, 4, 2. Yeah, that's a fantastic attack and follow-up. Irvin being cautious of when she goes after Andrea Koop. Now there's Irvin scoring. Yeah, they've got off that uh, sticky number four. Who knows, perhaps the floodgates are now open. Got it. Watch it. Oh, oh couldn't get there that time. Yeah. Inside out shot from Irina Tereshenko. Deadly. Not allowing Jesse to come into the middle and start protecting the left foot in the region of Susanna Bar. Got it. Oh. That's Got why up. it's uh, a difficult choice to head towards Coop. She's so strong in those areas, reading play and uh, getting enough power yeah. on the ball. 12 5 1. Into the net from Irvin, yeah. and that's the 13th point now. Finally off 12. Fantastic drop. 13, 5, 1. Oh, Irina Starting tried to take over. a little bit off. Came up way short. <laughs> 13, 5, 2. Yours. Mine. And that's long. Point. Great attack there from Coop. Recognized the ball was just high enough, moved into a good position, got on top of it, and the counter punch floats long, and that's given them uh, yes, match point. 14 5 2. <laughs> You're ready. That's why. So 15 5. Okay, As Team BLQK flexing their muscle here on Stadium Court. Crowd soaking it in here on day three. 
of Major League Pickleball, and this event will conclude, of course, tomorrow night on CBS Sports Network. And chance to shine on national television. Morgan, you know all the teams are thinking about that. Yeah, right now it is. Uh, it's tough to say who exactly is going to be there. Uh, the Chimera are looking good. The Discovery Warriors were looking like they had a good chance. However, BLQK did take second place as of last night. If they manage to, to win this one, they will have a good look. Oh, yeah, that's nice. The men's doubles coming up <laughs> nice. will be between JW Johnson, Dylan Fraser versus Ben Johns and Rob Nunnery. But let's pass now over to Hannah Johns, who has the victors. Thanks, Drew. I'm here on court now with these ladies. That was an incredibly solid play out there. Do you feel like at this point you've uh, uncovered the keys to partnering up together? Well, first of all, uh, greetings, my fellow Americans. And uh, Andrea Coop and I, we always knew how to play together. We are the dream team, and uh, I just enjoy playing with her. I enjoy my teammates, and we're having a great time here at MLP. We've seen some strange challenges over the course of this event. We've got uh, one of them was the ball went through your hair. That was challenged. A footfall was challenged. Your team actually challenged for the other team on one of the earlier matches. How are we seeing the technology change the sport? Um, well, the hair one didn't, nothing happened, but I think people might even be using challenges as timeouts since there's only one now. So I, I, I think that might have been more the hair one because it was a silly challenge halt the sort of the play and get momentum back on their side perhaps yeah uh, if you we only have one timeout and you want to use it sparingly so you can use uh, the challenge is. to get another timeout makes sense thanks ladies for your time we're going into the men's doubles now drew all right thank you so much hannah marina tarashenko star power over there for team blqk andrea coop as well and another guy needs no introduction ben johns consensus Number one player in the world, first round draft pick, second overall, first male selected, next to Catherine Parento. Hard to believe, just 22 years old. Interesting to see how he has adapted to this team concept of Major League Pickleball. Rob Nunnery, fourth round draft pick, 14 years his senior. He's got the hometown edge from right here in Dripping Springs. Texas. In fact, he works here at Dreamland. He knows this complex better than anybody. J.W. Johnson, meanwhile, continues to ascend in the world of pickleball. Second round pick, a rising star, native of Delray Beach. And his mother, Julie, senior pro, very well known throughout the world of pickleball. Then you've got Dylan Frazier. This young man really impressed us on day number one. 20 years old lives in Ashland, Missouri, has dreams of becoming an elite pickleball player. And guess what? Those dreams, they've become reality. Team's getting loose. Hope you're enjoying day three of our coverage. And I'll tell you what, hats off to all of our crew. I had the chance to, to go back home yesterday, quickly come back here today, and the crew still Hard at work, not missing a point here on Stadium Court. As marathon pickleball coverage continues from Dreamland here in Texas. Time in. Great crowd on hand throughout the day. And just a festive environment. We're underway, men's doubles. And Ben Johns starting proceedings early with a lovely flick. Those are one. So Rob Nunnery to serve. What? And again, the style of Johnson and Frazier just so unique. They play so similar, don't they? They do. They are. Borderline lackadaisical with their posture and their their body height up at the kitchen line, but nice the hand speed that these two bring to the table. 
It makes them so unattackable, as uh, Mr. Jones has just learnt. I'm sure he can figure it out. If anyone can, he can. done by Frazier. Two attacks yeah, from Jones and two counter punches for winners. Yep. And that gives the ball back. One, zero, one. Sorry, that gives a, a point to Fraser and Johnson. And Johns answers right back. I mean, you know that young players, everybody's studying Ben Johns as much as possible, trying to find holes in that game. No, I study Christine McGrath. <laughs> Does she study you? No. <laughs> no, the uh, players out there watching uh, will have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> so earlier on, we did see Johnson and Fraser playing, and the only area they were struggling a little bit was the third balls. High, uh, they weren't particularly high percentage third shots. Second silver. Roll it. Johnson under he's still looking for the first point. And the young guns doing very well early on. Alright, here we go. Yep. Two, zero, one. Uh. Oh, make it three nothing. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very fine. They are uh, on fire early. Could not have asked for a better start. How about this? That is huge. A serious message sent and the kind of hand speed that, that uh, Dylan Fraser brings to the table here. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but it just keeps coming back. Still, great level of patience now shown by J.W. Johnson and Dylan four Fraser. Three, they have a decent lead, 4-0. Oh, yeah, Johnson, another much needed side out there. Yeah. Yeah, you they, watch? Get, they will have to get going fairly soon. At the moment, it is one-way traffic. Zero, four, one. No. And that's a little long. Okay. Okay. As Frazier is part of the Show Me Pickleball Club in Columbia, Missouri. One, four, one. By his mother, Cindy Frazier. Oh. That's long as well. Oh, yeah. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Just started some unforced errors. That's not necessary. Two, four, one. They can compete so well up at the kitchen line with these two. When you say not necessary, you mean 
don't try and do anything crazy here. Yeah, didn't need to paint the lines, didn't need to go so deep. Can win it in two or three shots as opposed to one. to the net from Frazier. Point. And we're seeing one of, if possibly, uh, the most important reason why Johns is as good as he is. A very measured approach now. Not pulling the trigger too early at all. Waiting for opponents to yeah. make mistakes. And Ben Johns capitalizes there. We are tied at four. Point. So four unanswered from Johns and Nunnery. Challenge. And looks like we Ball are going to get a challenge here. That's good. Well, it appears to be a late the challenge. The call is that we challenge. Oh. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good Very relaxed challenge, but one nonetheless. So, team, team rally. The monitor Ball. was uh, blocking my vision, so I couldn't tell you that was in or out. From my vantage point, it looked in. That looks to be the, the point as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, that looked to be good. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, just inside the line, um, from this angle, it appears to be. Yeah. Off the net, did well to uh, adapt, and a great shot. How do you think instant replay? Thank you has affected the game, has it been good for it overall more? Oh, certainly, yeah. I mean, uh, what's interesting is we've seen people over uh, challenge themselves, having an initial call, but wanting to be sure, making sure that, uh, you know, there's uh, fairness in the game as best as possible. Looking at the future of pickleball right there. Dylan Frazier on the left, J.W. Johnson being coached up a little bit by Jesse Irvin. Yeah, and what I've seen from these two throughout the last three days is them getting more and more close knit. I think they recognize that they are kindred spirits in the game, and they have a real opportunity. If they can jive well on the court, you know, these, coup, these two could really start a dynasty. And I think if they can settle into their shot selections and see if they can uh, convince Mr. Johns and Mr. Nunnery to launch the first attacks, uh, and they yeah. sit on their counters. They'll do a, a great Ready. job. Time's in. Four, four, one. So tied at four. <laughs> JW has the final say. So far, they have given an alarming amount of balls to Johns and to a large extent, they're trying to keep him honest on the backhand side to expose the space to then get to Nunnery. And we have a lead change, finally, 5-4. John so good poaching over, Sorry. picking his spots. Yeah. I, I mean, I've got to give Nunnery some credit there. I think it was his paddle that struck that last one. Mm -hmm. mm. Point. And now, yep. six unanswered. For Johnson Nunnery, make it seven. Seven four two. Game of runs so far. Nice mm. reach. Points. Great reach, and that will give them the switch. Eight four. 
And the teams will head towards the bench. Hopefully we'll be able to listen in to some, uh, some good intel. Eight straight points for Team BLQK. Okay. Let's listen in. <laughs> All right. Here we so go. not a whole yeah. lot of chat. You're fine. You're fine. I'll be ready. I'm back. <laughs> so it'll be Johns coming back in at 8-4-2 serving to JW Johnson. Fraser and Johnson will need to tighten up on some of the loose errors. A couple of digs from Fraser. And obviously just a well polished performance from Johns to put away a bunch of balls. 8-4-2. Oh. oh, off the chest of Frazier. Fortunately, it didn't uh, hurt the microphone. Nine four two. Every single player mic'd up in Major League Pickleball. <laughs> oh, nice Ernie. First time for Nunnery. Yeah. It's important for him to feel part of the team. 10-4-2. Ah. Yeah. Now it's going long. Good take, good take. Out. A little ambitious from that low position. How about this run, though, more than 10 in a row for Four, Team two, BLPK. One. Yeah, it's, uh, it has been huge. Let's see what can happen now. No, not bad. A little wide. Yeah. All right, now, JW, okay, that's the kind of thing he's going to need to do. He was going to allow Dylan to take some thirds and get in there early. Oh. And another point. No, that's such as a second serve for Team Rally. 5 10 2. That's in. Great little flick there from Nunnery. His best shots are these very short uh, backswing attacks. A little lot. It looks a lot like he's just going to dink. Fighting them off. Oh. And that oh. ball sails oh. long. Oh. Wow. wow. Incredible defense from the team of Nunnery and Johns. 11 5 1. Nice. Oh, Short that Ladies time. Over. Second surf here, leading Table. by six. Remember, mixed doubles two. coming up next. Yeah. Oh, nicely done, J.W. Johnson. Yeah, he got up there in a hurry. So fine. So fine. Not a lot of successful love so far in this match. The level of athleticism that all four players have. It's going to make it tricky. Referee Ron Ponder What's just that? coming You're over to position. referee Marsha Frezzo. Yeah. So we get ready for mixed doubles. Yeah. What mixed double team? We'll take one more look at this from Johnson. But what mixed double team has kind of made an impression on you? I think Vivian David and Zane Navratil in that last oh, match were wow. pretty special. Yeah, <laughs> special to say the least. Of it. Uh, they, they played wonderfully well to take down the uh, the big man, Deppel Bar. And Kelly uh, Smith. And Kelly Smith, of course. Time. Sorry. It's been a long day already, folks. Yeah. Two apologies. Yeah, yeah. Kelly, I don't want her chasing me. 12-5-2. 
12-5. Seven-point lead, make it eight. Ben Johns is breathing some heat right now. Yeah, some authority on that yep. slapping backhand. 13-5-2. Two. two points away now. for one of his uh, patented attacks. But J.W. Johnson having none of it. 5 13, one <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Tell you what, the youngsters are yeah. showing lots of fight. Great hand speed fine. from the new kids on the block. 6 13, They're going to be household names in this sport for an awfully long time. done by Ben Johns. Morgan, you are how old right now? Uh, 39. Okay. If you had, were you into pickleball die hard when you were 19 years old? No, nope, had no idea it existed. Had that been the case, how good would you be now? Sorry. I probably would have burnt out by the time I was about 25. <laughs> I'd probably be a better commentator. Uh, Six, 13, pretty good at two. sitting down and talking now. <laughs> Did you just snort? Yeah. Uh, ben Johns once again. Right out. And they get the serve back with a chance to notch two here and take this men's doubles. 13-6-1. Mm. Over. You don't see that too often. 13-6-2. So, uh, that's point. out. So oh now it's game point here. 14-6-2. Oh. Nice shot. Nunnery off balance. Moving forward quickly. Didn't anticipate that particular ball. So far, it really seems like it's the third and fifth shot areas that are separating these two. Mm -hmm. The ability of Johns and Nunnery to get up there more often than not, that has proven superior. There it is again for Case Ben Johns. Point, yeah, these, uh, these thirds and fifths from Fraser and JW. If they can tighten those up, they could make a meal of this. One by That's Frazier. Off. And uh, the ball coming hey. off Ben Jones and being caught ben, by Hannah Jones. When you're turning this way, you're not getting the sun, are you? When you're hitting the dink? Because I'm, I'm getting it right. Nunnery uh, complaining Seven, about the 14, giant 10. ball of fire in the sky, uh, which we can do nothing about. <laughs> oh. Those are some quick hands. Are you? Very quick. Is he correct? You're right. yeah. The defense characteristics of Johns and Nunnery is legendary. But there's only so much you can do. You think quick hands in this game. You think Dave Weinbach. You think Matt Wright. J.W. Johnson could be that next guy. Yeah, and honestly, when I watch Dylan Fraser, he looks so unassuming. But the speed in which he gets that paddle up and down Technically very different than uh, most other players of this caliber, but unbelievable. And into the net, that'll do it. 
15-8. So team rally, they score the first four points, and then they get outscored 15-4 to four the rest of the way by Ben Johns and Rob Nunnery. Yeah, that was a well-polished performance. Early on, I really thought Fraser and Johnson had a great chance. However, it was only a matter of time and a short time before the team of Johns and Nunnery figured out the formula, took it to them, and took them down. So they will now have a little bit of time to, uh, to decide their mixed doubles teams. What are you looking for? Okay. There's extra ones here. Here. So yeah. referees will come out and uh, give us the take on who's playing with who. So they're trying to take you out. Let's go, let's go, one more. Uh, so, eight so seconds, Jesse and Jay Dedyuk are responding to Andrew. As we see, Tereshenko and Coop warming up. Uh, Andrew and Ben chose first. Jesse and Jay like This one doesn't fit very well. Uh, rally is serving. Rally is serving. Right. So Andrew and Ben will be serving. All right, Hannah Johns is standing by courtside. Hannah, take it away. Thanks, Drew. I'm here with these guys. You just played a team, both very young guys. Do you feel like your seniority in the sport uh, had any advantage today? Uh, you know, I think they're both pretty mature. and They're, they're used to playing uh, a lot of good players in high-pressure situations. So I don't really view them any differently as any other pro player. All right, next we're up into the mixed doubles. Uh, did you guys talk about what the matchups will be? I know the other team chose first, but what did you expect to see? Uh, I didn't really know. I just know Ben and uh, Ben and Andrew are going to go out first and try to close this out, and I'm going to go with Irina um, and look for the sweep here. For the sweep. You want? You're looking you for sweep, four yeah. and zero. Is that what you want? Yeah, we want to sweep. Yeah. Uh, that will also give you that added advantage in terms of if it comes down to a tie, correct? Our differential is not very good right now compared to some of the other, you know, low loss teams. Uh, so we need to pick up some ground here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's see if you guys can pull yeah. that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over to you, Drew. All right. All right, good stuff, Hannah. Ben Johns, Rob Nunnery, an impressive performance from the men's duo. And, you know, it's so cool always to watch Hannah Johns interview her brother, Ben Johns. Never gets old. So much talent in that family. Colin Johns, another. Yeah, and I think there's, a, there's at least a handful of sisters in there. It's a, it's a big family. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So we will be leading off with Jesse Irvin and J.W. Johnson taking on Ben Johns and Andrea Coop. Obviously, if Johns and Coop manage to take this, they will clinch the victory for Team BLQK and edge themselves even closer to a spot in the final. That will be on Monday night, CBS Sports. I won't be here, but I'll probably be watching. Drew will be here. Absolutely. You'll get those it. sultry tones from Mr. Drew Thelius. That's right. Dave Fleming will be in the booth with us. Hannah Johns will be here as well. Hope to have Dom Catalano back also at some point over the next few days. Yes. Wish him well. We wish him well. He uh, he did turn up this morning, but um, with food poisoning. Uh, he, he thinks it was food poisoning. Didn't, did not look a million dollars. I'll give him that. In fact, didn't look half a million. Dreamland, home of Major League Pickleball. This is what? such a cool complex uh, walking around just as I got here a few I'm hours ago. You've got a little miniature golf going oh, on. You've got all the vendors, food job. vendors, apparel Even vendors, pickleball vendors. It has everything, really. I mean, I haven't uh, tested my miniature golf game in quite some time. Maybe once I uh, abandon you <laughs> after... Did you want uh, to talk to me yet? These couple of mixed games, I try my luck, Always hot or I'll just Always sit in the bar and think about all these incredible matches. Uh, the latter sounds pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Well, this has really been transformed into a pickleball paradise. And 
just get the get the feeling that this event for years to come, Morgan, is going to be something that every player all over the world really circles and hopes to be a part of. Yeah, it, I think it really has shown what's possible when you think a little bit outside the box in terms of the standard format um, and how well you know players can can band together. Players that are so often against each other in typical tour tournaments are now finding a way to jive and uh, the camaraderie we've seen from these teams today alone ha has just been breathtaking the the level of emotion um, that the the crowd and obviously the, the team members are showing towards their teams it's impressive stuff that was so cool in that last match to see Corin Carr raise the level of her game and then Adam Stone come in emphatically take it away take it home that was so so cool to watch yeah it um, I know yesterday they were on the other end of that kind of feeling mm -hmm. and it was tough uh, so for for them to, to get the monkey off their back and do so well fantastic work so Jesse Irvin JW Johnson let's see what this pair can do against Ben Johns and Andrea Koo am I the only one am I the only one wearing a mic on our team? Time is in. Glad to be here. Zero, zero, two. So first serve coming here on the side out from Andrea Coop. Remember, four total. Games here, and if we are tied at two apiece, we will go to that singles showdown race to 15. Oh, just oh, just long. There's no wind. Mr. Johns himself trying his luck at a third shot lob. Once again, folks, please don't uh, don't try that at home. Um, ball appears to be either wobbly or cracked. <laughs> of course, you couldn't possibly miss a lob otherwise. Absolutely not. <laughs> One zero two. And Ben Johns may have cracked another, perhaps. <laughs> so the ball comes back to Irvin, and yeah, she will be one. serving to Johns. Point by JW. Point. There. So many great players on the yeah. tour. Yeah. Jesse Irvin, yeah. one that I truly enjoy watching the way she plays with that emotion, Morgan. And how much emotion do you think you need in this game? One, one, one. Well, it's very interesting because the vast majority of the points, you know, unless she does something life changing, even that, so it's a wonderful drive. If that was Pat Smith, for example, through the roof. That for her, another day in the office. Good drive, easy point, let's move on. So she's generally very stoic, but when she shows emotion, it's big. Uh -huh. oh, just oh totally my. went the opposite side of the ball, Ben knew it. Yeah, this has uh, every chance to be a very competitive match. We're good. Of course, I thought that about the last one as well. <laughs> The team rally's been getting off to great starts. They've just been kind of sputtering as each game has reached that midway point. But a 4-1 lead here for Irvin and Johnson. Oh, what happened there? Yeah, I think he was trying to get out of the way of it. And uh, just clipped him on the way through. Four, one, Not quite sure if that was going to be going out. So. Out. Oh, oh go, 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 go. Ooh, ooh. he hopped the line and played an incredibly short angle attack. Point. 
Hope that one makes the highlight reel. Yeah, that was a wicked Ernie. One for one. Good pressure, good concentrated patience. Three, four, one. Yeah, beautiful attack on the way forward. Picked it up off almost shoelaces. Three, four, one. JW Johnson trying to shake off a few cobwebs here. And now, just like that, Team BLQK right back in it. Yeah, it's uh, reflective of four, four, one. The, uh, the previous men's match, perhaps. Good shot. Mm. Second, Second serve now coming up from Coop. Jesse Irvin, JW Johnson. This is a must win here for Team Rally. A little long Ooh. from Johnson. Very Just close. Barely. Inches away. Tereshenko uh, showing Johnson just how close it was. Good look at it. Six, four, two. Oh, Johns can't get to that one. And now a side out coming to Team Rally. They trail by two. Four, six, one. Playing with as many partners as possible, is it good for you or can it negatively affect you? Yeah, it is a double edged sword. Um, certainly, I'll just wait till this one finishes. I know that's kind of a loaded question. Between yeah, no, points. it is. Yeah, I mean, if, when you play with new partners, you learn how to play different positions. You learn what kind of shots you'll need to help complement uh, them as a partner. However, Continuity does build a team very well. You start to really get a, a better feel for each other's games. And if it came down to it, if I'm going into war, uh, you're going to want a soldier you can trust. Mm -hmm. Lots of trust here between these two pairs. Irvin and Johnson trying to get side out here. Another good start. But Johnson Coop have responded. Yep. Here comes that side out. One out. Side out. Yep. Here, Jesse Irvin saying one at a time, one at a time. Yeah, uh, legally, that's all you can do, really. Um, I'd love to be able to do seven at a time with one great shot, but still not legal. Going for it. There it is. Great counter punch there. Andrea Coop is realizing just how fast those hands are. Five, six, one. JW is ready and can get that ball down so fast. 
A little bit wide that time from the 19 year olds. Right up. Oh. Beautiful flick there to finish the point. John's getting it low enough. Making it a very tricky ball for Irvin. Side out now back to Coop and Johns. Team rally very much in this one. J.W. Johnson, a little power that right. time. Go. Second serve coming up for Team B.O.Q.K. Here we go, one more. Yep. Yeah. Six, five, two. Ball getting behind Johnson. He owns such a good little curling backhand. Difficult to read when he's going to do that versus attack. Oh, JW into the net. And John's able to get the point. Now 8 5. And we'll get ready to switch sides here momentarily. Timeout on the court. The number one player in the world. What a year he has had. And John's. Yeah, once again, he's done it all. Let's see if we can't listen in, catch some of the uh, the team talk. Sometimes, too, there's just not much to say. Get hydrated, take a deep breath. Mm. Oh. Cameras have every so inch of this facility this covered. Where Andrea is. Right? Yeah. So just everything on her because it's really hard. Wait. Are here. we good? Urban yeah. Johnson chatting. But we're good here. Yeah, it's just confirming they are indeed no, on the correct sides. They have five are, points. Are we good here? Or am I returning? You're returning. So we weren't yeah. good. <laughs> Talked about emotion and and flair. One of my favorite yeah. pairs, Jesse um, Irvin, Jeff Warnick. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Talk about feast or famine. That's uh. <laughs> that is different, isn't it? <laughs> well, Warnick has politely stepped aside in favor of uh, Jay De Villiers. Nine five two. Jay De Villiers, an incredible year as well. Has there been a breakout player this uh, year? No. This guy certainly yeah. yep. one that you'd consider. Obviously, uh, Johnson, oh. Johnson and, uh, and right, Fraser yep. on the men's side. Mm -hmm. And we can't go past Lee Whitwell Five, on the women's. Yep. Yeah, one of those sort of most improved. Vivian David also mm -hmm. really improving drastically. Good shot. Yeah. Here we go. J.W. Johnson, nicely done. Six, two, one. And now four-point deficit, trailing 6-10. Oh, there's oh, J.W. Just got to stay under control that time. It's so difficult moving it at that Good pace. You know, he, uh, from a technique standpoint, looks very similar to Ben. However, there are differences in the closing ability and ability to keep the ball under control is one of those. Mm. 
Am I sir? closer. Yeah. Are we good? Yes, sir. Just either changing paddles or. Yeah, she can't see. Mm -hmm. Okay. The sun is really bad in that. In that especially uh, like the getting a visor. Like when you turn, it yeah. just gets right in your eye. Okay. All right. Hey, you heard Jesse Urban talking about yeah. the sun just seeping through here this time of day. Yeah, I think they're going to try to use that to their advantage, wisely so. Skates across the net. Play on. Now Ben John's getting involved. Ernie attempts. Oh, that was way high, and Johnson <laughs> chased it. He did. It was up shoulder or head height. Almost certainly going long. But now. Coop and Johns have a chance to extend that lead. A fantastic take from Johns there, getting in, reading early. I think Johnson's going to have to do a better job of keeping him honest on the backhand side, otherwise he will plague them on both sides of the court until it is 15 points. Ben has uh, overruled himself, or his partner, mm -hmm. called that ball in. <clears throat> oh, that's it. Beautiful shot from Irvin. That's the kind of honesty you've got to apply to these Johns people. <laughs> got to be so good. That was an out ball. Mm -hmm. That's no harm, no done. Second serve coming up here. Trailing by three. This is a must-have once again for Team Rally. Oh. And they're getting closer, just trailing by two now. Here we go. Yep. Right here, guys. Here we go. They can come back and find a way here, Morgan. This crowd's going to go crazy. Ah. Oh, that's uh, an impressive yeah. eye. Go right here, guys. Evan. I think she's looking for a challenge, perhaps. No, a challenge. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we have another challenge. We went almost the entire day up until uh, these two teams met. I don't think we had a single challenge. As soon as I walked in the arena, we yeah. had about five of them. <laughs> exactly. I thought, well, Drew's here. Let's, uh, let's make it a little more interesting. Everything is a challenge, right? Let's, let's give him something to talk about. That's right. So we'll have a look at that. The team of officials doing such a great job. Jesse Irvin. And J.W. Johnson. Next, you're going to see Dylan Frazier and Susanna Barr take the court against Tereschenko and Nunnery. Here's one more look, and oh my. That is pretty close. Ooh, I uh, would not want go. to be the referees standing next to me. Yes, okay, well, given that that's not a, a ball that compresses, looked a little long, but uh, hard to tell. Jesse Irvin won a key challenge on day one. Will she win it again here? Yeah, they have to try. 
I do like the depth of field on this camera work. I think they're possibly going with a 2.8 aperture. Oh, the ball is out. And the ball was out. 11-9-1. Speaking about that technology, I'm afraid everywhere I walk, I'm going to trip on something, man. These cameras... These things are really expensive, Morgan. Yeah, no, there's yeah. a reasonable chance I caused the uh, blackout yesterday, just tripping on a well, wire somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we can laugh now. We weren't laughing then, right? No, we were not. Point. Thirteen nine. Thirteen nine. Coop and John's closing in now. And this would pretty much seal a win for Team BLQK in this overall match. Second serve here from Andrea Coop. JW goes and gets it. Oh, just too much. Too much, too much. Angle, pace. Point. Poise and precision. Poof. Still looks like it's coming hot on Super Slow Up. That's true, and this is match point. Good as it gets there, folks. Ben Johns, Andrea Coop. What a rally to finish it, 15-9. Here in mixed doubles, Major League Pickleball from Dreamland. One more look. J.W. Johnson, good idea for an Ernie at the right time, but just too much Ben Johns in the end. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so what it comes down to, he moved in quickly after a great reset from... Andrea Koop found his positioning and took over the game as he so often does. Fantastic play from Koop and Johns over Irvin and Johnson. Coming up next, we will have Fraser and Barr versus Nunnery and Tereshenko. We're heading over now to Hannah Johns with the winners. Thanks, Morgan. I'm here with Ben Johns. That was a very solid victory. You didn't look like you lost control at any point in that match. Uh, what was the strategy for that one? Uh, yeah, you know, I think both the, the women were very steady with their cross courts. Uh, and it really came down to, to getting a few free points, being aggressive. You know, that's how mixed doubles work. I mean, I overextended it from time to time. But overall, I think the, the driving close really got us a few points when we really needed them. And other than that, you know, Andrea just held up steady, got the ball back in play, and uh, attacked it when she needed to. And that's really the, the name of the game, mixed doubles. And uh, I want to talk about who mastermind this event. Did the players have a say on schedule, format, and structure? Yeah, absolutely. So Steve Kuhn is the, the visionary behind all of this. Uh, just an incredible guy. Uh, great vision for the sport. And he really asked the players at every point, you know, what is what is best? What do you guys like? What do you not like? And I, I couldn't be more thrilled with how the event's turning out. It's just so fun. It's so unique. And I can't wait to see what next year has in store. We are certainly loving it on the viewership side. Thank you for putting on such a spectacular show already this week. We can't wait to continue on. Now we're going to show you our last match here. All right, thank you so much, Hannah. One minute, guys, one minute. And we'll get ready now for Tereshenko as she is on the court with Rob Nunnery, Dylan Frazier, Susanna Barr. On the other side, let's get a look at the facility here at Dreamland. It has been turned into a pickleball paradise here over the last few days. And fans getting up, getting a little stretch in as we get ready for the final match of this particular match. But one thing we know, Team BLQK is going to go on, and they're going to advance. They have. They have already clinched victory here over Team Rally. This last match is a formality, but it'll be an enjoyable one, no doubt. And it's going to mean a lot 
two, I think uh, Susanna Barr and Dylan Fraser to really try and find their best stuff. They have a couple more matches to play tomorrow, so it's really a, a good time for them to hone their skills regardless. Arena Tereshenko and Rob Nunnery are not going to give up without a fight. Yeah, so much great pickleball to be had here. Remember, still got lots of pickleball left today and then tomorrow as well, tomorrow night. CBS Sports Network. Be sure and watch it live. Set your DVR as well. <laughs> After this particular match, we're going to see Team Clean against the Pickle Ranchers, followed by Chimeras and Discovery. In the nightcap, Dave Fleming will join me here inside the booth. You talked about Lee Whitwell, uh, the impact she has had, really epitomizing what Major League Pickleball is all about in those great moments in singles she's had. Oh, it really is for the oldest player on the docket to to be the only one undefeated it, it's been shocking uh, you know she is now 11 and 0 after playing uh, a couple of singles matches as well at the end of uh, the tie breaks she's played phenomenally well and one of the reasons she has she has stuck to her role so well she has been so considerate with her shot selections there are so many players out here that uh, it, are still kind of playing look-see, do pickleball. She knows what her strengths are. She knows what her weaknesses are. You know? There's a reason why she's not the number one female player in the world, but she could very well be the number one partner mm. in pickleball right now. And, uh, you know, I just heard recently Ben Johns has asked her to play all of 2022 together. Mm. Uh, that's not actually <laughs> true, but, uh, God, wouldn't it be fun? Either way, we are back live with uh, Around the Post from Irina Tereshenko. Irina Tereshenko on day one. Morgan looked a little bit not in her element playing Major League Pickleball, but right now she looks like she couldn't be more at home. Yeah, no, I mean, when she's really enjoying herself, she uh, has a fantastic level and she started to enjoy the game. Almost two around the posts in a row from Tereshenko. That one just missing. But Nunnery will have a chance now. And that went up against the net. So side out to Team Rally. Susanna Barr, Dylan Frazier. Going to be an interesting pair. Got it. Come on. Yeah, that one does not go over. Yeah, if Barr can really uh, start making some effective third shot drops and uh, Fraser is comfortable moving in, we could have a, a good match on our tables. Got it. This is one of those matches, too. Morgan, we just throw everything on the table. Nothing to lose if you're Fraser exactly. and Barr. Exactly, nothing to yeah. lose. They're playing for pride right now. One zero two. Mine. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Point. Two zero two. Worst. Ah. Nice try. Possibly needed to be a Side reset up. kind of ball there from Bar. Zero, two, one. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> Zero, two, one. Uh. Ow. We've talked about a lot here over the last few days. I've not talked a lot about the alternates. Rob Cassidy, Thomas Wilson. Uh, Jill Braverman, Megan Sheehan Dyson also. Sheehan Dizan, she's on, yeah. Yep. yeah. We're all asking her to just try to simplify that somehow. So. <laughs> but she's not biting. <laughs> Any uh, word of the alternates being called thus far, or no? So far, no, but they're... Um, they have been doing a, a good job in the commentary One, side. Two, yeah. uh, a lot of them doing well in court two over there. Okay. Braverman also working uh, as one of the announcers in the venue, mm -hmm. helping out uh, a lot of the the patrons two, two, two. to figure out what exactly is going on with this incredible show. Yeah. 
Oh, nice return from Frazier. Yeah, beautiful play there. The scores are leveled. What's the point? Two, two, one. Another little tied up. Point. You go. Yeah, that's the kind of work that uh, Fraser can do. Three, two, one. So close. Now second serve coming up here for yeah. Dylan Frazier. Three, Twenty two, two. years old, out of Ashland, Missouri. Yours. Oh, ATP oh, came up a little Almost. short. Rob Nunnery with a beautiful curling backhand dink. Holds it for long enough to draw Fraser closer to the center and then gets back behind him beautifully. Yours. Watch. No. Mine. There you go from Nunnery. Nunnery. Good great setup. Good job. Amazing play there. Great read. Seeing that ball popped up down the line very early, hopping the yeah. line. Bob's your uncle. Robert's your father's brother. Again. Tereshenko there to back him up. Oh, oh again. Oh, so they will replay the point. That's good. Nunnery enjoying the official rules, saying that if you do hit the uh, <laughs> the camera wire. Yep. Love it. You get to replay the point. Who knows just how wonderful that lob would have been. Uh, he could sorry. probably. Yeah. Turns out the pickleball gods say it was going to be a winner. Four, three, one. He'll probably try a hundred times to hit that line too. Tough to do. I think he's been trying it all week. Nine. Oh, bar goes right at his feet. There's nothing he could do. Yeah, yeah looking to annoying. welt that left calf muscle. Hopefully, uh, hamper the movement. Yeah. Four, three, two. Uh, uh, yours. Got it. A little short from Tereshenko. Bar will be pleased with herself right, there, staying point. in yeah. that cross court dink rally. As they just wait Three, for four, a few of the patrons to get their seats. Nice. And Tereshenko, nice, nice, nice. beautiful return. Yeah. She does Three, turn seven. so quickly on go. that uh, backhand side. Delivers ungodly amounts of power. Three, four, two. Susanna Bar here to serve. Uh, fine. Trailing by one, Bar and Frazier. Out. That's long. Nice job. Good hands. So we're tied at four. Hey, feel free to go behind. How them. important is it to, because if your team rally, you know you're not going to win this entire match, but just four, four, to get two. one of these games under your belt. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're due. They, they need a win. Good for team morale. Yours. Oh, Frazier. What? How about yeah, that? That was incredible so agility good. from Dylan Frazier. You wouldn't know it when you look at Am his I face, son? but uh, uh, I mean, Am I correct, does he ever smile? Does he ever? Uh, it looks like Lip. someone's just punched his cat. <laughs> I think so. Doesn't matter. It's, uh, We'll, we'll, we'll have a chat to him about it. Never a fist pump. Give me something. No, no. So Fraser has actually been playing for many years. It's just he uh, was just playing in a sort of local area. Didn't really branch out to take on the world until recently. It's one of those guys, though, that when you think Missouri pickleball, you're going to think Dylan Fraser. I am now. So 
so good. That time ties up Tereshenko. I mean, so many come from Wichita, Kansas. Yeah. So many come from Delray Beach. Hold on, lock Missouri. People. Not yeah. many. This guy right, right here on the right, sure. Frazier, is that guy. A lot of them coming from Palm Desert, California as well. Got it. Lot. Absolutely. Uh, At least two. That's it. That's it. Good stuff. No here worries. Let's hold him. Yeah. Got it. So good side out for Team Rally yep. that time. Now it goes back to Team BLQK. Four seven one. All good, all good. Yeah. Second server. Four seven two. Good, consistent, controlled aggression there from Dylan Fraser up at the line. I'll say this, Morgan. This particular game we're watching, Fraser's owning it right now. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Barr has certainly uh, been a fantastic wing woman. Oh, I like it. I like it. No worries. Yeah, it's easy to always look at uh, the guy finishing the job, but uh, behind every great man is an even greater woman rolling her eyes. <laughs> and behind her is his wife. Oh. Yeah. Now Fraser again. Let's go. He has got it rolling here. Dylan Fraser. Point. As we go to our timeout, right now everything he touches turns to gold. Yeah, beautiful play. Let's uh, see if we can't listen in some of the, the chat. Prowess there out of Jesse Irvin, coaching up the youngster. Yeah, no, good, good moves as well. Good, uh, wise words. Her uh, input was to do with Irina Tereshenko starting to get uh, a good feel for Dylan Fraser's attack. So advising him just to move the ball around a little more. Don't talk much about these owners. Team Rally owned by John Raymond, Jim Toth. Team BLQK owned by Richie Tuesan. Eight four two. I met Richie the other night. Okay. Great. Seems like a nice bloke. Um, he's going to come for a uh, couple of lessons in the desert soon. Awesome. Out. Oh, that one's a little nice wide, and we've got celebrity owners. Come on. Come on. Come on. We talk about Mark Lassery, owner of the Lions team. Nine four two. Co-owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. Also, Mike Meldman, CEO of Discovery Land Company. Oh, yes. Side out. All right. Tarasenko just doing a uh, quick ball check. 4 9 is the score. Uh, good read on that one from Tereshenko. When she yeah. does have time nine, to nine, use one. that two-handed backhand, it, uh, it can be very lethal. It doesn't matter who's on the other side. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, Dylan Fraser again. Second serve here for Tereshenko and Nummery trying to establish some sort of momentum and just haven't been able to do it in this match. 5 9 2. That's a great spot. Yeah, that's a great ball. Fraser yeah, like doing exactly what Irvin was talking about, just moving that ball around 
different areas of that box. So Tereshenko doesn't have a chance to use that big two-handed backhand. There's Nuttery. Getting up quickly, getting the ball down even quicker. Nine five two. Nunnery Tereshenko need a side out here. Time running out on them. Doors. Although keep in mind Team Nine. BL QK is going to win this Nine. overall match no matter what. Got it. Got it. Sun seeping in here Got to it. stadium court. Nice. Ah. That's long. Nunnery oh, no. able to flick. That attack just quick enough to get the better of Bar. He sends it long. Five nine one. Yes. I got it. Oh, good Bar. hand battle. Oh, Bar Sorry. sends it wide. So they start to close the gap. Yes, Great play there. 6 9 1 is the score. 6 9 1. Uh, come on. Point. Nice to get a freebie. 7 9. 7 9 1. Shenko able to get that one. Right, and now down. it's a Eight. one point game. No. Yeah. 9 8. Eight nine, one. Chance to tie here. Uh. Oh. That's long. Point. We're tied at 9. One more. Yeah, one more. yeah I, uh, at this point, I'd be looking toward the timeout. Nine, nine, one. Oh, and there we go. Time. Well, you called it. So nine all. But do you think they can listen to the live stream? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. What's happening is you're kind of watching. Well, team BLQK, they have been impressive. Yeah. Listen in though, team rally as they talk more strategy. Yeah. I don't want to be on that. Side, right? You're going back and forth, back and forth, and so it's going to get yeah. the ball on you, right? Because eventually, that's the only way they're going to get. Yeah, I know. One I know. End I know. Is better Agreed. Than okay. It's getting the ball in the yep. so it's hands, 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 you've got to be right. Keep it, we're playing together anymore, so that's good. Because you have it What? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, settle back in. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's get the pen. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right. So there's some more wise words there. And there's the Lee Whitwell. Offering some of her expertise. Obviously playing for a completely different team, but not important. Second server. Yes. Second serve here from Arena Tereshenko. Nine nine two. Slight miscommunication there between Nunnery and Tereshenko about who was going to handle that middle ball. Nunnery did a great job scrambling back to deal with it. In the end, nine, nine, one. the damage was done. Out. Great serve, Dylan. And a cheap point there for Fraser and Barr. And that gives them the lead again. I got it. Oh, that took a wicked spin. <laughs> ATP, and we still play bar. Oh, and she just that missed that ball. Oh. So close. All right. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. 10 9 2. What a point. Oh, you go. 
Oh, <laughs> Dylan Fraser. Like a cobra striking from above. And you can tell how happy he is about that. <laughs> the look of elation on his face just says it all. Oh, that's why. Okay, he felt so good after that previous attack. And now he's smiling for some reason. He's got it backwards. Still a two-point lead for Team Rally. Frazier hits it into the net. Make it one. Here we go, Dylan. Yeah. 10, 11, 1. Watch it. Fantastic point, Susanna Barr. You can tell the emotion residing with her in her at the moment. She really wants this match. Yeah. Yours. Mine. Oh, how about these oh, hands? So oh, hit it so too hard that time. Got yeah, on top of it. One stop, Dylan. Yeah, tough to. Uh, to not have that much enthusiasm. So much power, so much paddle head speed. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yours! Yeah. A couple of out balls there were struck. All right, let's slow it down. Ultimately, it was Tereshenko and Nunnery taking the point. 12-11-2. Now just three points away. Very close game, though. Yours. Mine. Let's go. And that one's into the net. Right Side out. We got to do that. To Team Rally. Yeah. Got Very close to a wonderful yeah. reset. 11-12-1. Yours, yours. Oh. And short that so time from Frazier. Bad luck. Yeah, might have just caught that middle line there and skipped through. 11, 12, 2. Uh. Oh. Yours. Mine. 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 Oh, into the net. Yeah, no great read there from Tereshenko. Saw the attack coming, moved to the center. Had that two-handed backhand ready to fire. 12-11-1. Side out back to Team BLQK. Yours. And that's in. That is huge. Beautiful move forward. Managed the pace as she was moving in. That's a difficult thing at the best of times. 13-11-1. Two points away. Uh, yours. Frazier's got to go oh, get it. Going. Bad break against so the post. Close. Here we go. God, he moved well to get oh, to that ball. And now we're on the brink. 14-11. Here's one more look. 14, 11, Great effort one. from the youngster. It's borderline never till speed. But Bar hits it into the net, and that's going to do it. 15-11. Team BLQK takes the final game here in Major League Pickleball. Impressive. Tereshenko and Nunnery make it a clean sweep. That is 4-0 for them. I think the, the crowd were hoping for a bit of an underdog story for that last match. Unfortunately, it was not to be. All right. And for me, folks... I think this is my last match of the weekend. It's been a pleasure calling alongside Drew Thelius and Dave Fleming today, uh, as well as Michelle McMahon and Drew on day one. I've got to say, on a personal note, this might have been my favorite day ever 
in the commentary booth. Really? Yeah. Oh, the Solid. excitement early on. It was, uh, yeah, really just amazing stuff for the game of pickleball. Honored to be here alongside you. Every time, it is a treat, Morgan, and many more tournaments to come in the future. I look forward to it, mate. Great stuff. Well, Hannah Johns standing by with Rob Murray and Arena Tereschenko. Hannah? Thanks, Drew. I'm in the middle of a couple of audience members leaving, leaving here, but I'm here with the champions. They just took 4-0. Very strong finish to that matchup. Guys, what did you decide your individual roles would be in this particular match that you just finished? Um, I think we just had to stay disciplined with the strategy and uh, we have a lot of weapons, but uh, the key is to being very selective in the timing of those weapons. You know, we can't get too fancy. So, uh, great job, partner. And uh, yeah, just nice to get a win. And uh, now we're going to rest up, get ready for tomorrow. That 4 0 finish in games is really important. You know where you are in the standings right now? I think we're second, right? We're the only one lost team? I believe so. Uh, Chimera's first, and I believe you're you're in second there. Yep, yep. So uh, Chimera's are about to play Warriors. So we'd like the Chimera's to get another win over them. I'd like them to go undefeated, and then we'll take them down in the final. That's the plan. All right, I like it. <laughs> take them down. <laughs> Build them up to tear them down. <laughs> Full hope. I like it, guys. All right, and one more quick question. What is your typical week look like when you're not on court? Just paradise. We're just hanging out, socializing with people, enjoying dreamland. What an awesome atmosphere here at MLB. How about you, Rob? Um, usually work on a computer. You work? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> That's the running joke. It's like, oh, you do work? Looks like you just play pickleball all the time. Sometimes I work. All right, guys, congratulations again. I'm going to let you go rest up now, and we are going to take you on a quick two-minute break. Drew, I'm going to send you over there. All right, thank you so much, Hannah. One last sign-off and a thank you to Morgan Evans. Well done today, Morgan. We will certainly see you down the road. We're going to step away from Dreamland. More Major League Pickleball coming up in just a moment.